So made it safely, watch out for the uh, cow business on the road, made it safely to Devon. And we're going to be staying in this area of outstanding natural beauty for a few weeks, which is, which is awesome, really. There's so many public footpaths and places to just, just walk from where I'm staying. I mean, look at this. It's a beautiful little pond with some rolling hillside. Also, the good thing about this location is I'm only like an hour from Bodmin Moor, which has uh, possibilities for landscape photography, the tours, stone circles. So I'm just doing this short walk from where I'm staying and according to the map, there's a little footpath to the top of a small hill. I'm not sure if we'll get any good images today. A little bit late getting out. Sunrise was about half an hour ago. We'll see what we can do. Just had a lovely chat with a farmer and got some tips for dealing with cows, apparently. If they, uh, if they run at you in a group, just stand still and they'll split around you, apparently. And also, if they're acting up a little bit, just make a big star shape. So I'll have to try that next time. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I think this is the footpath down here and probably you've missed the light, but let's have a look around here. All right, we're going to head up here and see what we can find. So I had actually intended of ending up up there on that hill, but I should have probably looked at a map first. So fortunately I'm running out of time this morning. I'm going to go around this corner, see if we have composition we can make. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm a little bit lost. I thought this was a public footpath, but I think it's just a, a farmer's access driveway. If you ever do visit England from overseas, make sure you don't just go trapsing across farmers' fields unless they're like public rights of way or you know access rights of way that the farmers let people use. So come back to the main, well, that's not really a main road, come back to the little lane. And there's some light hitting the hillsides there. So I might be able to get a composition from the other side of the road near that farmer's gate. We'll go over and have a look, see what we can see. Because unfortunately I've got an appointment soon, so I'm going to have to head back to the accommodation. So I think this is probably the best I'm going to be able to do. What I might do is put on the 70 to 200 to try and get rid of some of this uh, boring foreground, maybe even Try a little bit of a panoramic. Right, let's get set up. Still not sure if I like these twist legs or the quick release lever legs on tripods. One of the things I really hate with landscape photography is when you're feeling rushed. So we're gonna have a look, see if we can get far enough into the scene with the 70 millimeter end of this 24 to 70. If not, we'll have to put on the 70 to 200. Of course, we also have to pray, see if we can get some light into the scene. So that actually might not be too bad. Rain looks like it's pretty imminent actually. So just gonna make sure that we get something in the bag. Just auto focusing because running out of time. We don't need to be on ISO 800, of course. Down to ISO 100. F16, 1 15th of a second, two second timer. We're also bracketing still. Just gonna swing this around. Swing it around a bit more. When you're doing panos, a tripod's not even level. When you're doing panos, make sure you leave enough overlap. So what I'm thinking is with this, we'll stitch them together into pano and then probably make a super wide panoramic crop. I'm really not sure what the light's going to do. Anyway, it's kind of a semi-successful location scout in that I've learned where not to go. We'll learn where the footpath isn't. It sounds like a tractor coming up the hill. Morning, again. Same farmer that gave me the tips on the cows. So nice, he wanted to get in this field, but he said he's happy to go to the next gate so he, I can stay here and film. So nice. Right, we've got a bit of light coming. I'm going to quickly get on that 70 to 200 and see if we can get something a bit better. 
I always get nervous changing lenses outside, which is pretty stupid because I don't really have much choice with landscape photography. All right, let's do this. When you're changing lenses, especially in a mirrorless camera, always keep, hello cows, always keep the camera body facing down if you can. <laughs> cows are saying good morning. I hope you can hear that. Right, see what we can do with this 70 to 200. Although this thing's really heavy, and it's a bit of a pain to carry around, it is pretty useful sometimes. I don't always carry this lens because it's just purely because it's too, too heavy really, especially if you're going on a long hike. It's gonna take a little bit of time here and hope some light comes. So I was going to go and try a bit of a panoramic, but there's actually some really lovely rolling hillside. Fortunately, there's nothing happening in the sky. Got some lovely pigeons flying around. So I'm at 200 millimeters and I'm just waiting for some light, kind of changing the composition on the fly, depending on where the light is. I'm gonna wait for hopefully a bit of dappled light and then we'll get the shot. Let's take a look at that. comes a tractor again. For this next shot, what I've done is I've included some of the barns in the foreground just to kind of give a sense of scale and still at 200 mils so it's going to kind of bring the background a bit closer and just waiting for the light. It's kind of trying to break through the dark clouds over to the left there so I'm hoping it's going to kind of illuminate the valley with a patchwork of dappled sunshine. It'd be beautiful. It's just a case of being patient and just waiting for the right moment now. So unfortunately, the light never came and the rain is just starting now. So I've got to quickly pack up and I'm also running a bit late now. So I've got to get back all the way down the valley there, back to the accommodation. <sighs> but it's been a great morning. See you in the next one.